the 2015 video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can export these vector designs, they are ellipse and type, as an SVG file which you can of course then use in various web pages and that sort of thing. Now just go to a file and export and export as. You can select the format and I'm going to go for SVG now you can see the other formats as well and you can just see the file there and the size 577 bytes now I'm exporting that's a Georgia font and I'm exporting that and I'm just going to call it 1.svg right so that's been done and I'm just going to go now to actually open it so there's the file and open and I'm going to use brackets so once that actually appears, take a few seconds. Oh, that's something related to my other work. Don't matter. Now, got this SV file, and you'll notice here font family Georgia Bold. Not such a great idea if someone hasn't got that Georgia Bold, so it's probably best to avoid using something like that. So, what you want to do, and I'm just going to go back now. Yeah, I can go back to Photoshop and instead of using that you could of course use Arial which probably is on most people's systems so it's, a, it's quite a good font but if you don't want to use Arial and I, but I'll quickly show you, you can just obviously just change it to Arial and you up there to Arial regular and you're probably quite guaranteed that that is on most people's system and therefore you can use that and that will be of course exported and you can export as I'll just quickly click that and I want to save that as two and then go to brackets and just open don't want that desktop 2.svg and open so now right you can see now what's happened, you've actually got Arial, much better thing. Of course, another solution would have been if you've actually gone for Georgia, you can actually just edit the text file. As you can see, you can just open the file and you can obviously also modify the ellipse. You That's the good thing about SVG. You can edit it any point and change various settings, colors, etc. Okay, another option, of course, is as ever, there's always another couple of options is instead of using that and I'm just going to go back out again to that you can just go to type and convert to shape so as a shape you can then file export export as now you'll suddenly notice that the file size has increased a bit not a vast amount not actually that horrendous but it's a bit bigger than it was. So, and now I'll just call it 3.svg. And then you can go to brackets again. Just quickly open. At least it shows the correct folder that time. Open. And there you've got the path, which is a bit more messy. But still, it's fairly reasonable at about 6k. Anyway, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.